Right, one Allard, 1948 M1 convertible or some call it Tropic Coupe I think. Um, one of only 500 ever produced and one of uh, supposedly two uh, in Australia. The history behind this one the, is that it is known from the um, uh, American Allard Register that this car came to Australia um, I think it was August 1948 as a chassis without an engine and um, it also states the car, I think it was green, oh, it was grey with green trim I think. Um, I don't think the first owner is known but uh, then um, in the early 60s Jack, oh, what was his name, Jack, somebody bought the car and he actually rallied and drove it extensively uh, until he got older and um, um, uh, less and less was seen of the car in, on South Australia's roads um, and until the um, late 90s when the gentleman that I bought this car off uh, spoke to some of his mates that he goes on car runs with that uh, and said well we haven't seen uh, such a Jack, I forget the surname now, uh, Jack's Allard for a while and he did a bit of research and it uh, turned out that this uh, gentleman had died and the Allard was sitting in the back of a shed and had been for several years but anyway he negotiated to buy the car and the car was in a reasonably sad condition we have some photos of it um, and he rebuilt this car the gearbox was noisy, so he decided, and that is um, certainly, I don't know, to the to the good of the fun of driving it, uh, to um, change it to a Toyota Supra gearbox. Um, he, the body was then uh, repaired and rebuilt for the great part of it. Um, the, the engine was completely reconditioned. The American, it, it, it's got an American flat hat, hat uh, V8 Ford engine in it with a number 99 on the casting, which I'm, I'm told, I think it's 99, which I'm told is a, is a good, uh, it's the Mercury configuration or something like that, I'm not sure. Um, Right, now anyway, the, um, the gentleman who bought it about 10 years ago and restored it uh, um, got some health problems and decided to sell the car and I bought it. Um, it's, we'll have a look under the bonnet now. It's very nicely restored, it's not, uh, not Concours, but then I suppose Allard's probably weren't Concours right from start. Uh, it, it's got reasonably modern seats in it, which I think are definitely not original. Probably have a look at the dashboard in more detail a little bit later. Um, this tonneau cover here uh, hides a couple of um, seats in the back. We'll have a look at that later too. And the hood is um, a reasonably basic hood, but the um, the, the original hood bows and uh, I think most of the workings of the original hood are there and if so desired can be can be this hood can be rebuilt. Uh, the bonnet is fiberglass. I think the rest is pretty much as per original. We do have the original number place uh, that the car was registered on, under and we do have it is registered as a 1948 and we do have the original Allard plate with the original chassis number on it. 
and we do have a little aluminium plate with the engine number on it which obviously came off or something when the engine was rebuilt and hasn't been put back on. Alright, let's have a look under the bonnet. Right, okay, here's the plate and this is obviously a, um, a replacement. It says they're type 71M and chassis number 5983 um, but as I said we do have the original sort of aluminium uh, plate which is um, not very well readable but it's still um, still there and still the numbers and everything are readable um, well and here we've got the um, flathead V8 engine which goes very, very well. And um, well, I honestly don't know too much about all this stuff, but uh, it's got an Offenhauser um, inlet manifold there. And these uh, heads of, what does it say, flat attack, I think it says. And as I uh, mentioned before, we, we have uh, the evidence in the uh, statement of the uh, previous owner. It all, all of this has been, uh, all of this has been rebuilt. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, it says Offenhauser on the other, on the other side of that. Right, but we'll see, and we'll drive in it later. Right, and here's the uh, boot with the spare wheel in it, which is brand new. And um, this, I suppose, is the um, stuff for the hood. Right, now here, view of the back seat compartment and this um, this one here which sort of is basically only there to hold the tonneau cover can obviously be removed pretty easily and then uh, well there is there is room for uh, some for a couple of people sit in the back preferably children um, there's um, an, uh, an on off switch there what do you call it an emergency um, thing and here is what they made up as a hood. It's pretty, so just a couple of hood bows and a thing over the back. We'll see if we can just quickly um, put that on. Right, and this is the car now with the hood up. As I said, it's not the original hood, but uh, still very nicely done. Uh, the original hood goes up a bit steeper in the back and um, as I said we do have the uh, mechanism there or the most part of it so if so desired it could be uh, reconstructed brought back to what it was in 1948 now the um, it's got wind up windows which fits uh, fit very nicely around the uh, door. The hood fits nicely around the wind-up windows. And on the inside it's done with these hood bows and the hood sort of goes around them with uh, Velcro uh, strips. Right. Okay, I guess that, uh, that'll have to do and now we'll uh, Take the hood down and we get Ari to drive it up and down the road for us. So yeah, then here on Blick, oh uh, sorry, uh, I was confusing the languages here. The, um, um, view of the dashboard, um, the engine is well and truly on work temperature now. Um, 
like the um, temperature works, the oil pressure works, the speedo works, the um, ref counter works. The only thing that doesn't seem to be working is the fuel gauge. Um, all this, all this is sort of uh, marked, and um, this is indicator, and so you know which way you're going. It has two different sounds, um, and there's the uh, CD uh, player. Right, okay, now we take it down the road. It's a bit of a stretch here, so. as well if we wanted to. Right and once more. Very, very good fun, particularly with the um, all synchro gearbox, which seems to mate with the engine very nicely. People looking at me strangely, driving, taking videos and stuff at this one and the same time, so we better stop that now. Right, and here we have the car running, and Ari will give us a bit of a... Ah, uh, lovely. back in the truck. Ooh. Uh, probably further away than what it looked like. What a monster. All right, well, okay. 1948 M1 Allard, 500 build, flathead V8, Ford engine. Lovely car.